Hello YouTube, long time no talk. Stetcher Hunter 75 here um, with an art book review. Those of you that follow my channel regularly and know me know not only do I love statues and firearms and what other things do I review? Sports cards, comic books, actually mainly statues, comic books, firearms, sports cards, and probably in that order. Um, so you know that I love art books and I'm into art big time. So <clears throat> my all-time favorite game, it will always be Gears of War to me. All the liberal snowflakes and everything in this world is just getting so soft. So they had to call it Gears 5. They took the of war out of it. Whatever. <laughs> it's just what this world's becoming. Anyway, um, my favorite game. I love Gears of War, um, and Part 5 is awesome, really good game, so I had to pick up the art book, ordered this from Barnes and & Nobles, and figured I'd give it a nice review for you guys to see, so if you are interested in it like me, uh, maybe you want to pick it up, so let's crack it open, no need for a razor on this one. I'll try and keep it in frame as much as I can so you can see as much of it as possible. Actually, let's check out the back of the book. So the cool snow cog or ice cog on the front of the book. There's a lot of ice theme on this book. See Kate in her warm winter cog armor. That's some really cool stuff on the back. So it says, The Art of Gears 5, over 200 pages of gorgeous art that del delves into the character settings and equipment of Gears 5, all collected in a full-color hardcover tome. Yep, that's what that says. Don't miss this opportunity to peer into a rich collection of creativity that catalogs the enthralling world, captivating characters, and distinctive weapons of Gears 5. And then you see Kate with her Lancer, which looks like the new... Lancer Grenade Launcher. Uh, this was also done by Dark Horse Books. There's all their info. And then you see the Coalition, the Xbox Game Studios. It was a $40 US retail value. I got it for much cheaper than that at Barnes & Noble. And then we also have on the back slip cover here. This little thing right here. Just kind of more stuff to it. So let's get into it. Hopefully you can see most of it captured on screen. I'll try not to bang the camera around with my clumsy hands. There we see the ice cog again. Trying not to skip any pages. At the same time, I don't really want to bend the spine. I'm going to keep it in nice condition. We said Ben Carmine there on the first page. Oh, you have to bail me. I'm fighting a terrible head cold. All kinds of congestion going on. There's the forward. If you want to pause that and read it, I guess you can. Or you could just go out and buy the book for yourself. <clears throat> the world. That looks like Vaskar in the background. Boot camp. Spoiler alert, if you haven't played the storyline game, the campaign, you might actually want to stop watching now. Because this shows a lot of the stuff from the campaign. It's pretty cool. Just really cool artwork of the stages, the ruins of Azura. See the first rocket to go up for the Hammer of Dawn satellite. Now we see the uh, juvies or whatever you call them. Looks like Rome right there. <laughs> Settlement two. Black and white stuff.
Kate there. Riftworm Village. Northern Tyrus. A lot of snow themed New Hope. A lot of snow and ice themed levels, which was pretty cool. Don't really see that much in Gears of War. Calm Towers. It's nice of them to incorporate different climate environments. Mount Kadar. You see the Matriac in there. Some of these look like conceptual drawings of the matriarch in her little chamber thing. Vasca, that was like the rusher of Gezor. That's where you go meet Bid's friend Paddock. Abandoned airport, more parts of Vasca. It was like this red sand desert planet. Rocket hangar. That was also in Vascar. There's the different types of rockets. Cosmonaut training facility. Old Ophiria. Bunker multiplier multiplayer map. Icebound multiplayer map. Hmm. Haven't seen too many weapons yet or characters. Asylum multiplayer map. It's mostly scenery. I actually like seeing the characters, like the locusts and stuff. Exhibit multiplayer map. There we go. Looks like we're starting to get into some characters, I guess. That's what you want to call it. District multiplayer map. They should bring back the river. Pascal multiplayer map. And Jacinto would be a cool map too. Ventilation multiplayer tile set. They should have brought back Jacinto and like Gears of War 4 multiplayer. Mining multiplayer tile set. Helipad escape unique tile set. And there we go, the characters. There's Kate. Kate's pretty badass in this game. Nice conceptual hairstyles over there on the right. See all the different versions of Kate. She has like a military hat on some. Oh, some of those are cool. I wonder if they're going to be in gameplay. Or... We see JD. Foz. Marcus Phoenix. Dell. The High Busters. Lonnie. Mac, Keegan, Elite Drones, Elite Drone Rifleman, Elite Drone Sniper, Elite Drone Grenadier, Elite Drone Hunter, or Swan Hunter, whatever you want to call it. Matriarch, there she is. Warden. Stump, reject. No, oh, I got all these characters. So, weapons and vehicles. See the new weapons from uh, the swarm and stuff. The claw, and then another new weapon, which is really cool, is the right here up top, the lancer grenade launcher. 
than your traditional answer. A cryo gun. Oh, excuse me. An exhausted talon in the bottom right there. The talon. There's the beam for the hammer of dawn. Which you could have used a lot more in the game. Would have been cooler. Jack. Vehicles. Oh, match if you got a hammer dawn in the game. Multiplayer. That'd be so cool. They should totally have it limited to the middle of the screen. Like they do with the... Uh, Troska rifle, or whatever you call that thing, Tro Troika rifle, or Troika gun. Let's see some tanks, illustration, yeah, UI, some more art. In game medals, what medal was that for? Oh, difficulty mastered, that's cool. That's a really cool photo of the whole team there. Kate, Marcus, Dell, and JD. And there you have it. That's the whole art book. Glad I got through it. I was starting to fall asleep at the end there. And let's put this in here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you saw everything you liked, pick it up. Have a good night, guys. Thanks.